uploads that way, ORs the other way. What do you want to do? Three, two, one. Upload. Can you talk a bit about the genesis of the show and how it sort of morphed since the since it sort of first germinated? I first had the idea when I was a um, writer on Saturday Night Live, and I'm walking around Midtown Manhattan trying to think of sketch ideas for Dana Carvey and you know that era of SNL uh, cast. And um, I, I this is how long ago it is. I literally walked past an electronics store that's advertising CD players. And um, the, the shift from digital to, you know, from analog to digital. And I was thinking like, well, what would it be like to uh, digitize? What's the craziest thing you could digitize? You digitize your own brain. And, you know, and then that means you'd be um, living in some kind of a server and the environment would be entirely designed by human beings, but you could live hundreds and hundreds of years. So it would kind of be like humans are making their own afterlife, but then it would probably have all these flaws because human beings are making it. Uh, so, I mean, I thought it was like a, a really interesting idea and very sort of science fiction and, you know, not for John Lovitz to do in a three minute sketch. Um, when the office wrapped, I went back to my, my, you know, notes and I was like, oh, this is kind of even more interesting now because we're, we're more at the mercy of these big tech companies. And I sort of saw it as more of a comedy than, uh, you know, a, a straight sci-fi thing. you a little cutie. So I understand you were in a bad place yesterday. Uh, it's only weird if you make it weird. Has the technology, even in the past, you know, five years since you sold it, like, has that changed in the writing process? One of the weird things is stuff that I put in as a joke are sort of coming true. Like, for instance, um, everybody in the future in, in the show is on a dating app called Nightly. And the idea of it is that... Uh, uh, after your one night stand, you rank people like Uber drivers and you give them five stars and it changes everybody's behavior because they're all trying to get five stars. And then China came out after the, we shot the pilot with the, this, this sort of social credit uh, score that all the citizens have, which is like really uh, weird. And, you know, and then I had I had uh, a story point of uh, the character Nora is working at the big tech company because she's trying to get the employee discount so she can help her dad upload and her dad has a disease from vaping and my joke was that he was vaping because he thought it was safer than cigarettes and then it turned out it was worse now that's happened since we shot that <laughs> so the things do tend to they seem to be catching up to the world of the show kind of I read in an interview you did with BT that you said that um, scientists are working on an upload machine, like at least probably in theory. Uh, is that true? Well, they're definitely um, mapping the brain connections of different animals. So part of my, my hope is that uh, by doing the show at Amazon, that they will uh, get into this business and actually uh, have it all ready for me, uh, you know, when I get really old and maybe that, I'll get a free upload for having done the show with them. Have you thought sort of about like the, the, the delivery method for the show, you know? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, d I don't want to rock the boat, you know, I sure. think that's a, that's a question for Amazon. Like you might ask them, um, this show seems to be making fun of your company a certain <laughs> amount. So why are you putting it on the air? They've been very supportive and they haven't, you know, tried to edit anything. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, but yeah, that's more of a question of, uh, you know, uh, is, is it good business policy to be making fun of yourself? I don't know. Uplifting views, timeless Americana. Yes. It's 10 a.m. Breakfast is over. No, it's not even real food. I imagine you have to have sort of thought about like, would you want an upload? Like you just mentioned. I uh, would definitely choose to upload. Um, one, because it looks really fun. The the Lakeview environment has got a lot of, you know, cool features. But, uh, you know, obviously just to stay in touch with your loved ones. It's referred to as digital life extension in the show. Do you have an idea of how expensive it is? Is it like a really, really nice assisted living? You know what I mean? Part of the, the satire is that the tech companies are, ch are charging for all these in-app purchases. Mm -hmm. And they don't really need to because... You know, once you're just digital and you're there, everybody could have everything for free. It's all just bits, right? So, um, but that's not how they make their money. So, and there's a lot of advertising and you're kind of a captive audience. You're dead, man. What's up? <laughs> How 
how can you explain sort of a lot of people saying like, landing on the afterlife as a topic for shows? The things that I used more for inspiration were Her and uh, Eternal Sunshine, The Spotless Mind, Mm -hmm. and uh, maybe Ghost. And there's a great British movie, Truly Madly Deeply. And I had just finished doing Jim and Pam and wanted to do something that was romantic, um, you know, and that had a strong obstacle in it. What it has to say, if it has anything to say, it's it's about how how are we um, making our society now and are we doing a good job at making a human society that works for everybody or is it uh, just working for people who can afford it? Will we see a second season of the show? Because the finale, I'm like, I'm like, I want to know more right away. <laughs> well, yes. Th- uh, thank you. I definitely have a second season in mind. We're working on writing it. It hasn't been ordered yet and production in general is in a very iffy state right now, obviously. Um, So there's a lot of uh, things that would have to happen, I think, to do a safe, safely produced uh, show. But I think all of all of the entertainment industry is in the same boat on that one. I certainly uh, would not prioritize things for the entertainment industry. I mean, there's a lot of people doing important things. (laughs) 